Hey guys, it's Dragafon, and today we're going to make an enemy, because Rock Paper Scissors is a two-player game. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up the code in your draw event, and then underneath where, it's, where, where we're setting the value of text to be equal to the uh, choice array, <clears throat> we're going to enter there and uh, make a new line of code underneath that. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to make a new variable called enemy. And we're going to set that equal to a random number. And um, GameMaker has a very nice function for random numbers called iRandom. Um, there are several randomizing functions, but the, w the one that suits our needs the best is iRandom because... What that does is whatever value you put inside the parentheses here, we're going to put 2 because what it does is it picks a number randomly between 0 and 2, including 0 and 2. So when we put 2 in here, it's going to randomly select either 0, 1, or 2, which is rock, paper, and scissors. Um, in our array and the I just stands for integer which is any whole number all right so we've got that set now the next thing we need to do is um, we need to make another variable called result text and we're gonna set that equal to a new array which we have yet to define called result and then inside the brackets we are going to put value comma enemy so what this is doing is it's basically using value and enemy as xy coordinates um, so basically it's going to be comparing the value of of your players choice with the value of your enemies choice all right, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and come down here at the bottom, and we can draw some more text. Um, we want to see, we want to be able to see what, uh, which option the enemy has selected. So we're going to draw some text. Uh, we'll move it over a few hundred pixels, so 300 should be fine. Same y coordinate, and then. The text variable will be enemy. Enemy text. We're going to have to make another variable here. Uh, just right in between enemy and um, above result text, we're going to make a new variable here called enemy text. I forgot about this part, sorry. And we're going to set that equal to choice bracket bracket and inside the brackets we're going to put enemy enemy comma zero. So what that's going to do is it's just going to draw the text from the enemy's choice. So if the enemy chose uh, zero that will draw out the text rock right here at 300 pixels and then at the bottom of our code again we're going to go ahead and draw some more text and this will be we'll draw this at 500 pixels y and the variable we're using is result text so that will tell us whether it's a win, lose, or draw. Now we need to go um, set this array up over here in the create event. So we'll click the check mark, come over to the create event, enter the code here, and then we're going to set a default for result text. And we'll just set that to quotation marks, semicolon, so it won't say anything. 
Okay, and now for this new array that we are calling result, we just type result and then put your brackets in, and we're going to be setting this equal to a string of text, and depending on the result, we are going to say whether that's win, lose, or draw. So I'm going to just paste this a few times. We're going to end up having to do this nine times because it's a it's going to be a three by three matrix. Because we have three options for the first coordinate and three options for the second coordinate. So let's get started. Zero comma zero would be rock and rock. So that would be a draw. And then zero one would be rock versus paper, which is a lose. And then if the player chose rock and the enemy chose scissors, so zero two, that would be a lose, a win, right there. And then one comma zero, which is paper versus rock, would be a win. 1 comma 1 is paper versus paper, so a draw. A 1 comma 2, which is paper versus scissors, would be a loss. Then 2 comma 0, which is scissors versus rock, would also be a lose. 2 comma 1, which is scissors versus paper, is a win. And finally, two versus two, which is scissors versus scissors, that is a draw. All right, now I believe that is it. So let's go ahead and check that. Uh, come up here and run the game. Let's see what happens. We've only got one thing here, it says select one. So let's go ahead and select rock. All right, it tells us a win a win, a lose, but we can't see the enemy's choice. So let me see what I did wrong here. We're supposed to be able to see what the enemy has chosen. So let's come into the draw event. The enemy choice, enemy choice. All right. Um it looks like Ah, it looks like a misspelled enemy right here for the enemy text, which should be enemy text, not in May. All right, check mark and test play it. Let's see if that worked. There we go. Let's make sure they all line up. Rock, paper, lose. Rock, rock, draw. Rock, scissors, win. Paper, paper, draw. It looks like it's working. All right. So that's it for now. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.